when you say the word connecting, um, can you talk a little bit about what you mean? And, and the reason I think it's relevant to this conversation is because I would like to take it down two roads. Uh, one road I'd like to take it down is just my ability as a creative uh, person wanting to connect with my subject. And then if my subject has a connection with other things, for instance, if it's two individuals that I'm taking a picture of or whatever, and I'm interested in the relationship between them, I want to facilitate them connecting. Um, but I guess if, if those are the general categories and lines of conversation, I'd love to go down if it works out. Uh, how, what do you mean be, by the word connection? And what do you try to accomplish when you're, when you're trying to connect with someone? Well, to put it simply, if you're not connecting with whatever it is that you're, you're doing, uh, whether it's a conversation, whether you're um, you know, playing baseball, whether you're watching the ocean, um, it's not going to be one of the best moments of your life. That's just put very simply. We shut off, we disconnect, we um, have walls up, all of those kind of things. We know what that feels like and we also know rarely during any of those times is there a party going on inside of us. It's, um, hmm. Those are duller things, they're um, distant things. Um, think about what I would call the shining moments of your life and in every single one there's some kind of a connection happening. So. Um, to me, it's, it's about life, is really what's happening. Are you engaged? Is your hand on the steering wheel? Are your eyes looking at the person that you're talking to? Is there sparks flying between you of some kind? Uh, when we're talking about arts, we're talking about communication. And when we're talking about communication, there's a receiver, there's a sender, and those roles are constantly switching so that it becomes a cycle. And connection, I don't think, should be some you know, grand achievement. Um, connection, we should just recognize if we're not connecting, uh, we're not really even communicating. Not, as, uh, not on a deep level for sure. A myth, I think, in the marketplace where if I say the right things or I do the right stuff or I click the right way or I post pro produce the right technique, that there should be a result that I'm looking for. But if I'm hearing you right, you're saying that there is a, that isn't necessarily the case. I could be doing all the right stuff, but if I'm not breaking through to someone, connecting with them, then it doesn't really, we might as well be doing nothing. Is that, is that what you're alluding to? Is it, or is that too strongly stated? No, I don't think it's too strongly stated at all because there's two different sides of life. There's two different hmm. sides of this experience that we're having right now. And one can be interpreted in, um, you know, purely mental, purely rational, purely, um, uh, you know, measurable, and the other uh, is on a feeling level, it's on an intangible level, it's on a non-measurable level. I mean, we could measure your, your face right now, you know, we could do all sorts of scientific uh, analysis on what your expression might mean in association with tests that have been done, and we could get pretty exhaustive into that, and yet, even if we did all of that, it would not mm -hmm. tell us entirely who you are, Dane. And mm -hmm. uh, it, it is an aspect of life, and I don't downplay it at all. The rational side is important, but mm. I, I like to talk to people when I'm talking about connection in terms of something that every single person understands, and that is the love relationships that they already have existing. And these could be with a partner, they could be with children, they could be with best friends, and you have to realize the value that those people have to you has absolutely nothing or at least very small percentage with uh, the measurements that they have uh, of their face let's say if if your son's eyes you know were an extra three millimeters in either direction is that going to change who he is is that going to change uh, the way that you feel about him absolutely not and this gets more complicated when we start talking about something like photography because what is photography photography or business or whatever art form we're talking about doesn't actually exist anywhere except for in our mind it's a collection of thoughts and ideas photography is a collection of thoughts and ideas that have been pooled uh, since you know photography was invented and some guy came up with the word or some lady and said we're gonna call this photography and from that time 
you know, there's been this collective term that has come up. And now when I say photography, all of these ideas flip into your head. And that's fine. I'm not putting that down. But I, I'm, I'm just very strongly pointing to the fact to that's half of the story. So in my career, in my exploration of what photography has been, I wanted more than just those ideas. I wanted more than um, just the measurements because I knew that when it came to the best moments of my life, measurements were rarely involved. Um, I'm trying to break through to a client or I'm trying to facilitate clients to connect and I might be thinking that connection is happening or making up in my mind that it's really going great but in reality it's not and things are falling short or vice versa. And I'm trying to sort through, gosh, what are, what are some ways that I can interrupt the meaning that I'm making about a certain situation and facilitate more authentic, genuine connection between either me and my subject or my subject and themselves. Does that, does that make sense or is that too all over the place? I uh, know I'll, I'll answer my answer and you tell me if the meaning you make up for my answer is <laughs> not for you. Okay? When we're talking about connection, we're talking about two different things that are separate for some reason, um, meeting, okay? So that's this whole term that you brought up, connection, is indicating that. So we have this sensor inside of us, and this sensor uh, goes off when something real is happening. And uh, that's a whole huge conversation, you know, that we can't entirely get into, but when, when you're talking with somebody and it's a fake conversation, or it's moving you, you can tell the difference. And when they, they are feeling that, you can also tell the difference in them. It's very similar to the ability that we have, and it's an innate ability in all of us, uh, to be able to tell when somebody is a bad actor. I mean, there's very few people who enjoy watching bad actors on movies, and it's actually an uncomfortable feeling for us. And this is just the general mass of people feel that way who don't necessarily specialize in this area. I believe each and every one of us have uh, a sensor and indicator inside of us that can tell when an authentic interaction is going on. And, and when that goes off, there's a joy that's released from that. And by joy, I don't always mean, you know, um, giddy happiness. That's not what I mean by joy. Hmm. But there's this uh, sense of energy exchange and it's not really subjective in the sense that if you touch um, two ends of a live wire together after you, you, you know, you've wet your fingers or whatever, <laughs> uh, it's not really subjective that you feel electricity. The electricity comes through you and you feel it. That said, a lot of people get so caught up in their mental dialogue, uh, which like I said is half of life but is not all of life, that, uh, that that sensor becomes buried under a lot of stuff. And this is uh, an incredibly common um, uh, phenomenon within the human race. Sometimes you're speaking with somebody and it's this incredible conversation. And in the incredible conversations, think of one of the last incredible conversations you had. Did you sit out with a notepad before and hash out everything that you were going to talk about. Did you plan yeah. it? Did you measure it? Did you say, three minutes and 19 seconds into this conversation, I'm going to talk about this? It, it comes from a different place. So it does. To, and to, to, to just round all of that up into a nice little package, I would say connection, what, this, what we're talking about connecting, this merging of two worlds, is not about building. It's about removing. There is a natural attraction, a moving closer, a flowing into that happens when what is in between two people is removed. 